Hey folks, this is Vincent Adelie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly play Concordia. This is a game for two to five players. It's for ages 13 and up, and the average play time is about 90 minutes. So this is a game that I haven't played in a very long time. Idly, I think, spent a game or two playing this game digitally. Um, hopefully you enjoyed your experience against the computer. Yeah, it was okay. Good. So in this game, we're going to be moving our meeples around this board, constructing cities, gathering resources, and trying to earn the most victory points. There's a couple of things going on here. Each player will get a hand of these unique cards, and each of us has the same hand. And on our turn, we're going to choose one of these cards and play them for their effect. Now, as you play cards, you're going to be putting them into a discard pile. But there is one card in your hand that allows you to pick everything back up again so everything refreshes. As we continue to play, we're going to be, again, earning victory points. Um, there's a row of cards up here that can be added to your hand so that it becomes more powerful and your deck becomes more powerful. The game ends when all of these cards have been purchased. Likewise, each player has 15 of these houses down here, and if a player manages to build all 15 of their houses, that will also signal the end of the game. So there's two ways to, to signal the game's end. Uh, there are some other things, but I think we'll just go through them as we play. Uh, but it's worth mentioning that, again, I haven't played this in a while. I may get a roll wrong or two, but we're in it just to show it off and have some fun. All right, so that being said, um, I've got the Prefectus Magnus card, which is reserved for the player in last place, I believe. So go ahead and go first if oh, you like. okay. <laughs> so you're going to choose a card from your hand and play it. Basically. Okay, and these are all the goods that I have. Yeah, you start with two food, the yellow ones. Yep. There's a brown brick, a gray metal, a uh, looks like a red cloth? pottery, and blue cloth. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You also start with one land meeple and one sea meeple yes. on the board on uh, Roma, or is that? Yeah, that's Roma. The other, the flip side of this board is for, I believe. Uh, it's for the higher player count. This is this side is for the lower player count. We also start with two land meeples and two sea meeples in our own personal warehouse down here. So what is the cost to build a house? So the cost to build a house depends on, first of all, where you are located. Mm -hmm. We start in the city of Roma, but every time we move thereafter, we're going to be moving on these dotted lines. Blue meaning ship and like sea movement. Only your boats can travel on the blue dotted lines. Mm -hmm. And your land meeples can only travel on the brown dotted lines. Whenever you move onto a dotted line, you can build houses on the cities that you're connected to. The cost is equal to the guide card that you currently have in your hand. Yes. Um, I'll go ahead and show it to the folks at home so you can kind of see what's going on. But if you wanted to build a city that produces brick, you'll be spending this up here. If you want to build a house on a city that produces food or wheat, then you'll be paying this here and so on. Um, if, you already, if your opponents already have houses there, then you have to pay extra. Yeah. So How much coinage should we start off with? Uh, coinage. How much coinage do we start off with? Good question. I don't think we start off with anything. Really? But let me double check that. Okay. Okay, so I did check on that, and yeah, that's my bad. I completely missed that during the setup. The start player starts with five money, and the second player starts with six. So, she's going first. She starts with five. Okay. I will play the architect card. Architect. And what does the architect do? That moves your colonists, then builds in cities adjacent to your colonists. Okay. So... Um, I will move, uh, it, it's up to, the movement speed is up to how many colony, colonists you have. Right, so in this case, two. So one and two. So you're going to move there, okay? Yes. Now that means you can build uh, cities that you're adjacent to. Your yes. ship is still in Roma and not technically mm -hmm. adjacent to anything right now. Mm -hmm. But you can build a house here or here if yes. you've got the resources and the money to do I'm it. I'm going to do both. Okay. I'm going to build on the brick house. Okay, so the brick house is a brick and a wheat and two money. Brick and a wheat and two monies. Okay. And that puts a house in the brick. And then I'm going to build a house on the wheat, which is one money. 
Uh, one wheat and one money. Oh, okay. Okay, and you're gonna. Oh, I think we did that op- opposite, didn't we? What do you mean? The the wheat house was a wheat and a brick and two money, and then the brick house. Oh was yeah, the brick. Money. Yeah, cor- yeah, the brick house <laughs> is a wheat and a money. The the wheat house is a brick a wheat. Yeah, so we got the cost reverse. You still spent the same yeah. thing to do both. Yeah. Okay. And I think that is the end of my turn. Okay. And this goes in my little discard. Discard pile, right? Yeah. So now I'm going to take a look at my cards and see what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the Diplomat. Use an opponent's top face up personality card in their discard pile. So I'm going to mm-hmm. copy her architect action using my di- Diplomat card to my to move my characters around. So I'm going to move my ship onto that space there. And I'm going to move this character. Um, I have to move on land. Cloth is expensive, which is crazy. Um, all right, so I'll just move up that way. So one here and one here. And I'm going to build two cities. I'm going to build one here mm-hmm. next to this ship. That's going to cost me one wheat and one money. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put a house there. And then I'm going to put a house here on Novaria. Uh, that's cloth. And I need a brick. I need a cloth and five money, which I barely have. And I put a house there. Nice. And that would end my turn. Okay. So now it's back to you again. Okay. I will play the, let's see, um, okay, so cloth is worth seven, right? Yeah, seven, yeah, cloth is the most expensive good. Okay. Sorry, I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. I think I'll just do a prefect. Okay. Turn over one active bonus marker. Now here's the thing. I get so confused with the prefect when I was doing digital, mm-hmm. when I was playing the digital game, and it was so nice to just be able to click on all the provinces and see what I get in return. Right. And that's all I did. Like I didn't even know how it worked. <laughs> right. So the prefect, um, you're gonna do one of two things. Okay. You're going to turn over one of these bonus markers up here. I see. Okay. Then that particular continent or yes. landmass activates. All of the houses built in that area. Oh, I see. So, for example, this is Italia, right? Okay. So, if you activate Italia to get a cloth, you then okay. all of the houses in Italia would also activate. I would get a cloth and a, a wheat. You would get a brick. Oh, I if see. you activated this continent up here, which is Germania, mm-hmm. you would get a metal, mm-hmm. and you've got a house here that would produce you uh, food okay. and wheat. Um, I will do that. I'll do the Germania. Germania. Okay, yes. so what you're going to do is we're going to flip that over, mm-hmm. and you get a metal. Okay. There's that. Mm-hmm. And you also get a whatever. A wheat? You get the wheat, correct. Now, does that um, token flip over as well? What token? The one my, that my house has. No, made? that stays there. Oh, okay, I see. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I think, is that it? That's it, for okay. your prefect, yeah. Okay. Okay, um, I am going to produce in Italia with my prefect. Mm-hmm. And that gives, let's see, Italia is cloth. So I'm going to take a cloth. And I'm also, well, I've got this uh, mm-hmm. pre, pre, Prefectus Magnus. That means I get two of that resource rather than one. Nice. And now this card passes to you. So the next time you use the Prefect, you're going to get double whatever that okay. resource is. Does that mean you also get double wheat? No, only for the, the thing that you took. When it comes to these, these are just going to be the same. Or just one. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Okay. One, You only double up on the items you take, not on what I your see. houses produce. And okay. I, and I produce a cloth here, and I think that's it for me. Okay. Um, okay, interesting. 
All right. Um, I will use the diplomat and use your prefect. Okay. To activate that same Natalia. It's already activated. It's I mean, to, 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 to collect the coinage from it. Okay, Doesn't so it... the way that works is you're going to collect all of the coins that are flipped flipped here. Now, Germania and Italia have been activated up to this point. Yes. So if you do the diplomat and then use the prefect action yes. to take coinage instead, yes. you would get one, two, three. There's two coins on this one mm -hmm. and one coin on this one. So these would flip back over, mm -hmm. and you would earn three coins from the bank. Oh, I see. Okay. One, two, three. That's fine. Is that what you want to do? Sure. <laughs> okay. And was there? I don't think there's anything does, else you can do. Is it? Do I? That no. The Prefectus Magnus card does not kick in when you do A that. Action. Okay, when you decide to take coinage. That does not kick in. You hold on to it until you take one of these. Oh, there. I see. Okay, I see. Yep. So I'm going to use the Mercator card mm -hmm. to take three money. Uh, so one, two, three. And trade up to two types of goods. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to choose cloth as one of the things that I trade. I'm going to sell two cloth. And they are valued at um, seven each. So I'm going to get 14 money mm -hmm. from that. So that's X and then V. I'll just make change. And then I can choose one other good. Um, what am I low on? I don't have any brick. So I'm going to purchase brick. And brick is three apiece. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to purchase two brick. And that means I have to pay six. So there's six there. And I add two brick to my warehouse right. and that is over okay my turn mm -hmm. i'm going to use my prefect to activate italia italia okay so this is going to flip over for cloth okay you get a cloth and because you've got that prefectus magnus card mm -hmm. you get another cloth and that comes over to me yep um, any houses in italia now produce okay that includes uh food that's my two houses and your brick. Okay. So you're going to get brick. Okay. And because my warehouse is full, I can only choose one of them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and choose cloth since that's the more mm -hmm. valuable resource. Yep. And is that it for you? Yes. Okay. So now with this in mind, okay, let's not get to see like what the cost is to buy stuff and... <laughs> That's metal, and that's... Okay. Hmm. That's that way, and that's... Okay, and brick is food and... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the architect action to move my colonists. I'm going to move once here and once here. Yeah. And I'm going to now build cities adjacent to those colonies. So with the brick one... I need to pay one brick, or I'm sorry, it's uh, one, one wheat and one coin. I'm going to make change. Mm -hmm. That goes away. And now I can put a house on the brick one. And that's in Galia here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also going to build a house down here in uh, oh. Cyrene or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's a metal producing city. I need a brick, I need a metal, mm -hmm. and three coins. So I'm going to... Turn in my 10 and take 7 back. Nice. And now I put a house there. And that ends my turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my... Um, actually, I will mm, this is hard because this requires me to depend on what you're gonna do next. You think? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um interesting. The cost, oh, okay, I see what that means. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, this is tough. All right, I think I think I'm gonna use the. Gosh, this is so hard. You've already got that decision paralysis. I, I, th that this is what I was struggling with in the other game too. All right, I think I'm just gonna go for broke here. I'm gonna use the senator. Senator. Card. So purchase up to two new personality cards and put them in your hand. So the cost of the card is listed mm -hmm. on the card itself, and the cheaper cards are on the left of the row, but to pay for the card, you're going to pay the cost associated right here. These bottom um, items are end game scoring bonuses. So these are actually multipliers that'll kick in at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. But to get this first card, for example, she'd have to pay a brick and a wheat in order to uh, get this one. And then anything below is an extra cost. Mm -hmm. And these cards shift to the left as they are purchased. So which, which yes. one or two cards did you want to purchase? I want to purchase the farmer card. Okay, so you need a brick and a food. Mm -hmm. Which is this right and here. And that get, that goes right into your hand as soon as you yes. purchase it. Mm -hmm. And the next one I want to purchase is the uh, diplomat. Card. Diplomat. Okay, so you need a metal and a resource of your choice. Yes. I'll just use cloth. It's fine. Okay. So all of these slide down. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I can actually reach those cards to the right there, but you may have to, or I'll try to do it. One. Sorry. <laughs> these arms. Okay. <laughs> no. All right. Um, and these go in the discard? Yeah. Yeah. Now it is your turn. All right. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and use the prefect to, um, I'm going to pick a province to activate. I'm going to choose um, Gallia. Mm -hmm. And in doing that, that gives me... Uh, it's cloth. Do I really need cloth? What was my other option? That's Egypt just now. Okay, that's actually metal. That would be three metal. Do I really need that much metal? Um, I mean, I could... It's either cloth, it's either two cloth, the two cloth might be nice to have, but that's a lot of cloth. Um, I'm actually going to produce and I'm going to activate Egyptus, Egyptus down here. Mm -hmm. um, so first of all, that has metal, and mm -hmm. because I've got that Prefectus Magnus card, um, I double up on my production, so that's two metal. And my house down here produces, and I also get another metal. So my warehouse is now full, cool. mainly of metal, and that's it for me. All right, I will. I will also diplomat and do the prefect as well for Germania. Germania, okay. Mm -hmm. So you're up here. Yes. So Germania is metal. Okay. So and that does the prefect? Yes, that, that kicks okay. in. So you get two metal. Okay, and a wheat. And then you get your wheat from your house there. Okay. And you're done. Okay. Um, I only have two cards <laughs> left. Um, I think what I will do, though, is play the Senator to purchase two cards from the Array. Mm -hmm. um, the first one is this Smith, uh, produce tools in all of your metal producing places. I need a brick and a metal for that, so that goes into my hand. And this one, I need wine and a, research, uh, a resource of my choice. I guess I'll just choose uh, wheat and take that one as well. And this prefect card, turn over one act. So basically, it's an extra one of these prefects. Then. Prefects. So yeah. So I, now I've got three prefect cards as opposed to two. Okay. Um, and then, and these, then these all slide over. Yeah. <laughs> two come out, Weaver and a colonist. Yep. Okay. Um, I will do the uh, farmer. 
Okay. Which is produce food in all your wheat house. Okay. So I just get one wheat. One wheat. Okay. And it's your turn. All right. I will, let's see. I've got one. Okay, so let's do... That's not good. Okay, so you still have that Perfectus Magnus card there. Um, what do I need the most of right now? Um, Italia's been spent, Germania's been spent. So, I okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the Tribune action to bring everything back into my hand. Mm -hmm. um, I gain one uh, Ceterius for each card taken in excess of three. Um, include the Tribune in the count. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, you can build one Colonist in Roma for wheat and metal, but I can't do that because I have no wheat. So what I'm going to do is, um, including the Tribune card, one... Two, three. Now, anything in excess, I earn money for. Yeah. I've got one, two, three, four. So I'm going to earn four extra money from the bank. And that gets that. And then all of these come back to my hand, and it is your turn. Oh, I thought it was like for every three cards. You no, get in excess one. of three. No. Oh. That's what it says on the card, anyway. Okay, I, I don't know what X is of three. I thought it was just like, for every three cards, you get a coin. No. Okay. Interesting, okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I will do the Mercator action and sell my stuff and buy stuff, but up to two. So you pick two goods, goods and yeah. then you buy and sell yeah. anything you want from those goods. Do I take three coins first? It says uh, yes, take... it says take three coins. Yep. Okay, so... and trade up to two types of goods. So there's your three coins. Okay, and I will um, sell, um, let's see. Hmm. I will. Oh, this is tough. You know what? I'm gonna sell a cloth for seven. Okay. And so that comes here, and you get yes seven money. Mm -hmm. And then your other good. And my other good, I'm going to buy. Um, Um, I'm gonna buy wine actually. Okay. So that's six, right? Six, yeah. So, so you're gonna take a wine. That's fine. Six. I don't know why I did that. I kind of downgraded, but whatever. I have, well, a, strat. No, I have a strat. You, you might need. You might need those resources. <laughs> Maybe. Fine. Um, I am going to play a. Um, tree up the two types of goods okay so I'm going to play the Merc actually I'm gonna play my diplomat and piggyback off of you <laughs> so I can buy okay. and sell stuff so I'm gonna take three money mm -hmm. one two three I'm going to sell one clock for seven mm -hmm. uh, it's five six seven and I'm going to buy what would I want to buy I think I'd want to buy uh, wheat. So wheat is four a piece. So I'm going to buy two wheat. So that's eight and one, two. Cool. Okay. Um, my turn? Yep. Tribune. Tribune. So that's all of my cards. So, yeah. So right. now from here, you're going to go one, two, three. Three. And however many cards you have here is how much money you make. I see. Okay. So count whatever that is. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. All right. Yes. So now you got all your cards back. Now you also have the option to build colonists, I right? will. Yes. I will do that with um, iron and, what was it? Iron and wheat? Wheat. Yeah. So you're going to put, do you want a land or a C1? A uh, land, for sure. Okay. Land. So you're going to take one of these yes. and put it there. Okay. All right. Cool. And that goes... All right. It is your turn. Jeez. Okay. Um, where am I at? In there. Wheat. Okay.
Not helpful at all. Not helpful at all. Um, okay. I'm going to... I'm going to play my other Mar Mercator card mm -hmm. to take three money. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sell one metal for five. And I want to buy two brick for six. Nice. So that takes me up like this. All right. Okay. I'm going to Senator and buy cards. Okay. I'm going to spend a wheat and an iron to buy the colonist card. So this one here? Yes. And a... I'm going to Build new colonists in your cities for food and metal each, or take five money plus one per colonist. Mm -hmm. Okay. That goes into your hand. And you want to buy a second card? I am. I'm going to buy the... Uh... I'll buy the architect card for a cloth and iron. Okay. Big spender. Yeah. These all slide down. Okay. Um, I am going to play the architect, I believe, mm -hmm. to move colonists and then build cities. So I'm going to move my boat one and this one two. So for this spot is brick. So I need one wheat and one money. And I can put a house here. And wheat over here is one wheat and one money. And a house goes there. And that's all I can do. Okay. I am going to... I'm going to prefect. Okay. And Turn over. do the coinage. Sorry. You're going to do the coinage. So mm -hmm. this is one, two, three, four, five. So mm -hmm. you get five money. Okay. There you go. Thank you. I am going to activate. Um, let's see if I activate Italia. That gives me a cloth, which is nice, but she gets a brick. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do a prefect mm -hmm. card for Italia. Mm -hmm. So that gives me one cloth from this. And then uh, my house here produces grain. And my house up here produces more cloth. And lastly, your house here produces brick. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it for me. I'm going to do the farmer. Actually, hold on. Um, do I want to do that? You know what? Um, yeah, I'll do the farmer, and I'll just take one, one wheat. You're going to take one wheat, okay? Yes. So the, the farmer is produce food in all of your food producing cities. Which is one building. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to... Um, okay. I'm going to play the senator to buy two of these cards up here. The mason is one food, so I'm just going to take that. That goes to my hand, and the weaver mm -hmm. needs a cloth, a brick, and another cloth. So two cloth and a brick, and... So I get these two cards. These all slide down. All right. This is the last row. <laughs> so we're starting to buy up all these cards here. Yep. Crazy. And it is uh, your turn. Yep. I will... Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. No, that's cool. <laughs> can't hard. figure it out, huh? I can't. This is tough. You know what? I like cards. I think I'm just gonna play my senator card. Okay. So you actually, mean, um, you mean to buy more cards? I'll do diplomat. <laughs> so you're gonna okay. So you're gonna piggyback off senator yeah. to buy more cards. Yeah. All my resources. <laughs> wow. Okay. So you want to play for this one? Yeah. So Mercator, take five Sissitari and trade up to two types of goods. Sissitari is money. Yeah. That gets added to your hand. And what was the other one that you wanted? Uh, the second one, Vintner. Vintner? I don't know why. I just like cards. <laughs> so anything in your clay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's funny. Wow. Crazy stuff. I am going to play... Um... <laughs> I'm blue. All right, so I'm going to play the Prefect and activate Hispania. And Hispania is going to give me a food, and my house here is going to give me a food. So that does that. Okay. And that is it for me. All right. I will do um, the... You know what? I'll do the um, Mercator. And what does that do? Take, Take five, five points and then trade. And trade. Okay. So I can, I'm going to buy some goods because I need them. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, yeah. I'll do... Um, brick. A brick. And I'll take two bricks. You're going to take two bricks? Two bricks, which is six coins. And I'll take... I'll take an iron, which is five coins. So there you an go. iron, you said? The metal? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And... Yeah, I guess. Not helpful to me. Okay, so how about... Actually, can I take that back? I'm sorry, the iron. Oh, so not. Not the. Hey, wait, wait. Keep the tr keep it. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna spend one more. So that'll be six for wine. I'm for wine? Go. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right then. <laughs> um. This is not good. Let's go with, um, I guess I'll do, if I activate Olivia, I get these, plus Olivia is metal, which helps and it doesn't. So two metal and one brick, but, okay. Ugh, that's tough. I mean, I want resources, but I also need like, um, so if I come, if I take stuff back now, I would get three coin and that would be it, eesh. All right, I'll go ahead and play my prefect so that I can um, activate Libya here. Mm -hmm. And I've got two houses there as well. So I'm going to get a brick, a metal, and another metal. Nice. So two metal and a brick. 
Wait, why do you get two metal? Because one from this house, oh. one from here. Wow. And a brick from here. So, so if you had this card, it would be an even an additional metal. Wow. Correct. But I can't hold it anyway, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Okay. My turn? Mm hmm I'm going to prefect uh, Germania. Germania. So or, up here, Germania gets you a metal. Yep. And, well, two metal because of that one card. Yes, and that goes to you. Uh-huh. And you have a house here, which gives you wheat. Oh, wheat. Okay. So you need two metal, right? Or I, I got, got it. Two. Okay. And then I'll just your turn. <sighs> No, I gotta. I gotta play Tribune and take everything back. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. So I get five coins, and then it's, I'm not gonna opt to build any colonists. I don't think. Um. um oh, well, sorry. Go ahead. Do I want to? No, I'm not. Okay. Um. I will architect. Okay, and that lets you move, move and build. So I, I can move three times. Right, because you've got three yeah. c colonists. So I'll do, um, I'll do one, two. Okay. Three. And then the land, no, I'll just do some, I'll do that here. And I will build um, a house on Germania. Uh, here? Yes. The metal one? Yes. Okay, so that would be... Three coins. Three coin, a metal, and a brick. And a metal and a brick. And then I lose there. And I will also build a house on the wine in Gallia. Okay. Uh, that is... A brick. A brick, a wine, a wine, and four coin. And I get one change. Okay. And that's it. That's it? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. I will play the Alright, I'm gonna play the Senator card mm -hmm. to purchase up to two new personality cards and put them into my hand. Nice. I'm gonna do this one food for this card, the colonist card. Mm -hmm. And that one's cloth. That's wine. I don't have so I'll do the console, and this gives me, I need to pay cloth for that, and a resource of my choice, I'll just do metal. Mm -hmm. And that ends my turn. These three move down. Mm -hmm. I will do Vintner and collect for a wine. One wine? Yes, and I forgot to put a house on there. Oh, uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yep, yeah. mm -hmm. you got it. Okay. Um... I am going to play the console, which is purchase one new personality card without, without additional costs to put into your hand. Yeah. So meaning I don't have to pay the cost down here. So I'm going to play that, and I'm going to pay one metal mm -hmm. for this card, and just take the architect. Nice. I will piggyback off of that and do diplomat. Okay. And I will just pay one wine for the prefect card. Okay, one wine for the prefect. There you go. <laughs> one left. Yeah. Um, that goes in the discard. Discard? Okay. Yeah. It's tough. How am I going to do this? Not helpful. Okay, so maybe I can do... So now I need to figure out how I'm going to move There's that, and now how do I get that? Okay, so I am going to, let's see, brick is food, and then that is, okay. So I'm going to play the architect to move my ship one space here, mm -hmm. and my guy here one space this way. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to build a city here and here. Mm -hmm. um, so for this metal, that's going to cost me um, a brick, a metal, and three coins. I'll get two and change. And then for this brick up here, I just need a food and one coin. Nice. And that goes 
there. And that is it. I'm going to play colonist and just take 15 coins. Wow. Which is five. Five, five coins plus one per colonist. No, it's not Oh, 15. oh, oh, sorry. I <laughs> times it wrong. It's five, five. It's eight. So eight. Yeah, sorry. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm like 15. Yes. No, there's no multiplier <laughs> there, but okay. Oh my bad. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I read that wrong. <laughs> Uh, okay, I've got a brick left. Let's see. <laughs> that was interesting, man. Good job. Uh-huh. Um, I am going to activate. Where in the world is. Syria is okay. Syria is to the right. Okay, it's Asia. Well, it's odd. Oh, it's here. Okay. Um, yeah. At this point, I'm just gonna I'm gonna act with my prefect. I'm just gonna activate mm-hmm. Syria over here, mm-hmm. and that gets me one clay. Prefectus Magnus gets me two clay. Mm-hmm. So that's one and two. And then um, I'm going to prefect as well. I'm gonna prefect Gallia. Okay, so Gallia is cloth. Two cloth. So you get two cloth. And a wine. And a wine because you produce it at that location. Yes. And you also get a brick. On Gallia, yes, I get a brick. Okay. And that's it. Hmm. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Let's do... Unfortunately, my ship is a bit landlocked at this point. Playing... I guess we want to end the game soon, if I can. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take all my cards back, and it gives me one coin. It's nothing big. I'm, I'm going to opt out. I can't build any colonists, so mm-hmm. I get one coin for that. What's the um, the quote unquote god that um, makes it so? Like, what what is what is their descriptions? I wish there were their descriptions. There's a description under final scoring here. Okay. So you can see all the different gods and how they score. And for those at home, we'll be taking a look at our entire deck of cards and scoring based off of the different bonuses that are on the bottom here. So we're going to have multiple categories of scoring to go through once we're all said and done. Interesting. Oh, jeez. All right. Whatever. <laughs> I could, huh? I'll do... Um, that's a lot of money, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be eight money if I did try. 
Tribune. And then this would only be three, so I won't do this. Um, I don't know if it would be worth it to do the Tribune, because this is obviously my last turn. It's second to last. Oh, really? Yeah. If I end the game, then you get one more turn. Okay. Let me see. All right, then in that case, I'll just do Architect. Architect, so you're going to move and build stuff? Yeah. So I'll do... Um, this actually, time. Yeah, I'll do that. Up here? Yeah, up there. And okay. I'll spend one coin and one week to build a house there. Okay. There. And I can move two times. Yeah, two more times. Doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, what well, might? Sure. One, two, and that's it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to play um, console, which is just purchase one new card from the row. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay my wine to do mm -hmm. it. And... Because I purchased the last card, I get the seven point victory point card, oh, which gets God, added. I, I should have just ended it. <laughs> well, did I you have the ability to? Yeah, I could have. Oh, you did. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I didn't. No, I didn't have the ability. I didn't. I don't have the center of the card. Gotcha. Okay. It's fine. Um, all right. So that, you get one more turn. Okay. Tribune. It's fine. So, including this card, right? Uh huh. So it's one. You had two, no cards left. Three. Yeah. <laughs> Except for one card, but I didn't want to use that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. ten so points. you get ten money. Yes. Okay. So now we score for each of the god types that are in there. There. Unfortunately, there's no like score pad as far as I can tell in the box. So I'm just gonna have to do this by hand. Okay. Um, Vesta is the first one. The value of all the goods in the storehouse um, is added to cash money. Then the player receives one victory point. For every ten Cessatari. Um, so I've got two brick and a wine. So that's six, and the wine is six, that's twelve. So I get twelve money. And then how many of these Vestas car Vesta cards do I have? I have one. I have one Vesta. So that means that I take this total, which is 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that is rounded any fractions. Are, so basically I get two points for Vesta. And how much money did you, and why don't you trade all of this in? Okay. Did you trade all that yet? Not yet. Okay, so. This is 14 coins. 14. And keep going. Six coins for the wine. So 14, you said, plus six is 20, right? Plus five. 14 plus six plus five. 25. Okay. So 25. Okay. Now divide your grand total by 10. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay. You have 40 10, there, it looks like. 20. This is 10, right? I, I don't read No, no, X is 10. Oh, is it? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, you get four points. 16, 48, okay. Oh, okay, so 48 divided by 10. Yes, four. right, and you don't round up or yeah. anything. Okay. So Vesta, we scored Vesta. Next is Jupiter. For each house, <clears throat> excuse me, for each house inside a non-brick city, the player receives one victory point. Um, for each house inside a non-brick city. So, let's see. I've got non, non-brick. One, uh, no, you're red. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five. And how many of these Jupiter? Okay, so I've got one. Two. Three. Four. So I've got four of these Jupiter cards. Or, so I'm going to take my five non brick houses, which is um, one. Two, three, four, five, and then times that by my multiplier, one, which is four. four, so that's 20. Wow. 
I think you beat me there. Mm. So what? How, what were nine. your nine? My total's nine. Nine. Okay, well, first, what? How many non? <laughs> three. Nine. Okay, so you have three non-brick houses. Yeah, and, you have and three, three. Three cards. Yeah. Okay, so that's nine. nine. Okay. Um. All right. Next, we've got. Saturnus, for each province with at least one of their houses, the player receives one victory point. So, Hispania is a province, this is oh, a province, so, let's see, I you've got one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. so you've got four provinces, mm -hmm. now do you have any multipliers for... Yes, four, so that's 16. For Saturnus, mm -hmm. and I have one, two... Three, four as well. And how many of these Saturnus cards? I've got one, two, three. Okay, so four times three is twelve. So you beat me there. Next is Mercurius. For each type of good that the player produces with their houses. Uh, okay, so it's going to depend on... Um, for each province, no, it's for each type of goods that the player produces with their houses. For each type of good. Okay, so what kind of goods do we produce on the board? Oh, I see. So every unique one. So okay. I produce brick, wheat, that's two unique. That's another brick, so no. Metal is three, um, cloth is four. So I produce four unique mm -hmm. um, types of goods, and Mercurius is... I only have I have two cards, so two times four is eight. Same, I got the same. Four times two is eight. Okay. Next is Mars. For each of his colonists on the board, receive two victory points. Yeah. So um, I have two Mars cards, and I've got two colonists. So um, two times two is four. Okay. And you have three colonists, right? And two cards. And so times two is six. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Mars is done. <laughs> Lastly, Minerva, and this is going to depend. These are all unique bonuses. Mm. Three points for every metal. But which ones do you have first off? I don't know. <laughs> this is three points for every food city that you have. Oh. So do you have any cities that produce food? Yes, one. One up there. So that's uh, three points for that times one equals three, and that's food. And this four. one is uh, clay. Uh, so no, it's wine. Isn't oh, it? well, I'm sorry, that's what I meant. Oh, sorry, sorry. Wine and claim, one. they look similar. So it's four. Uh, four points one. for every, so you've got one. Mm -hmm. Okay, one equals four. And then mine, three points for every metal city that I have. I've got uh, one and two. So three times two is six, and that's metal. Um, three points for every brick city I have. I've got one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So three times three is nine, and that's uh, for brick. And then lastly, five points for every cloth. Wow. I've got one, so that's uh, five points. So five times one is five for cloth. And that's the end of the game. Um, so now we add that up, 22... 22 plus 12 is um, 34, 34 plus 8 is 42, 42 plus 4 is 46, plus 6 is 52, 61, and 66, if I had to guess. Yours is 13, 29, 29 plus 8 is 37, 37 plus 6 is 42, um, 42 plus 7 is 49. So, wow. give or take, 66 <laughs> to 49. That's, you destroyed me. I didn't destroy you. What's the point of the tracker here? That is for intermediate scoring. Um, I, we could have, like, gone through here and tracked. I guess I could have done that. But I see it's. I think it's better on paper to track each mm -hmm. scoring area in yeah. case you get lost or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, there is intermediate scoring that you could do. Uh, every time someone plays a Tribune card, mm -hmm. you can count your score as you go. I see. But 
I didn't think we needed to do that. Mm -hmm. So, what did you think of Concordia? Do you? It was okay. Do you it, like this one, it or gives, is it too much? It gives me anxiety. <laughs> Does it? There's a lot of decisions to make. In it this is. One. So much better on the computer. Yeah. So I like when the computer does stuff for you. Yeah. yeah. Like the score. I hate the scoring in this game. So it's so nice when the computer just does it. I, I can't stand the scoring. I like when the, com the computer is also programmed on the Steam version to um, to give you the amount of points that you would get. Like you can actually see your scoring for mm -hmm. each category so you know what to work on next. Yeah. Whereas if you're playing the board game version here, there's a lot of math to do in your head to go, okay, yeah. I, how many of these cards do I have and how many points does that give me now? Mm -hmm. Which one should I go after in this array up here? Like mm -hmm. you're focusing on different cards up here, um, which I love. I love. I love that you can sort of take a buy cards quickly approach to try and end the game quickly or try and build a bunch of houses so that you might have a couple of cards like from here but this adds up to that so mm -hmm. like whether you have a lot here and a little here or a lot here and a little here or a mix of both mm -hmm. the scores come out to be somewhat even like it's somewhat balanced that way but I, having only played two or three times, I don't know like the perfect strategy to this game. You did very well though like you were like spreading out, buying cards left and right, you were very efficient. I was trying to... I, well, efficiency is the name of the game. I mean, yeah. it's At heart, it's a, you know, card play, you know, it's a hard uh, hand building. management game, and you've got to, like... Mm -hmm. I love the fact that there's a slight deck-building element to it, so the more cards you purchase from here, the less times that you potentially have to pick everything back up again. Mm -hmm. That being said, the cards I did pick up, some of them were strictly more for endgame scoring, and I didn't use them for actions, like mm -hmm. producing all metal in a city or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I really liked Concordia. I just I wish there was a notepad, like a way to keep score, mm -hmm. uh, like a score pad inside the box or something like that, uh, rather than me having to, on a separate piece of paper, okay, this is, this is what I had, this is the multiplier, and then add them all up afterwards. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so anything else to say about Concordia before I... we ship out? I, I don't know. Like, this game has all the right elements, I think. I, I don't... I'm not a big fan of, like, area control. Like, yeah. you know that. Mm -hmm. But I th I thought it was okay. I still prefer the digital edition. But even then, I don't know. There's something about this game that gets me... Anxious? <laughs> yeah, like the decision paralysis. And it doesn't jive well in my brain. <laughs> yeah. Which is weird because there are other games that are similar to this that I do like. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a weird thing. Understandable. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. That was Concordia. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Idalee. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.